All right, so I've got some examples I'm going to do graphing a cotangent function. Uh, each example will have its own video, so be sure to check them out check them all out. Uh, they'll be just kind of like maybe a normal one uh, and then you know something like cotangent of you know 3x, 5x, something like that. And then we'll have one where it's going to shift left or right and then we'll have another one where it shifts left or right and it shifts up and down. So be sure to check them out. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is look at some guidelines. So the first thing we do is find and sketch two adjacent asymptotes. So for cotangent, we know the cotangent, just regular cotangent x, is undefined at 0 and pi. And that's what the two vertical asymptotes here are. Okay. And then what we do is we divide we divide it into four equal parts. So once you get your two adjacent asymptotes, and in this case, zero and pi, so so to find the asymptotes, let me say a little bit more about that. You, you take whatever you're taking the cotangent of, you're going to set that equal to zero, and you're going to set that equal to pi. And then you'll, you'll solve for x, and you'll see that better in the, in the, in the examples that we do. And so then once you have your two adjacent asymptotes, and in this case 0 to pi, we split this, this interval here into four equal regions. So what we did is we took 0 and pi and we found the midpoint, which is pi over 2. And then we took the 0 and the pi over 2 and found the midpoint there, pi over 4. And we took the pi over 2 and the pi and found the midpoint there, 3 pi over 4. And I'm going to show you all the work on how to do this as we're working the example. And then we plot our points. So what you've got to remember with uh, cotangent is when you plot the points, that's why it's so important to get these values here. Because the first value here starts out at 1 and then it goes to 0 and then it goes to negative 1. It's going to work like that every time. No matter what these numbers are, when you find these numbers it's 1, 0, negative 1 and then we just sketch in the graph. Okay, So let's take a look at, some exam at an example. Alright, so let's take a look at example 1 uh, graphing cotangent function. Alright, so Remember, we got we have to find two adjacent asymptotes. All right. Now, remember, cotangent is undefined at zero and pi. All right. And so, what we do to find the adjacent asymptotes is whatever we're taking the cotangent of, in this case, two x, we set that equal to zero and we set it equal to pi and we solve for x so we divide by 2 we get x equal 0 we divide by 2 we get x equal pi over 2 so there's our two adjacent asymptotes 0 and pi over 2 so let's go ahead and draw this. Okay, So we've got a vertical asymptote at 0 and we have a vertical asymptote at pi over 2. And so it's here which is in this case is just the y-axis and then we have a vertical asymptote here at pi over 2. And then what we do is we split this up into four equal intervals. So I need the midpoint from 0 to pi over 2. So I need this midpoint here. Okay, and I told you I'd show you how to how you do it. I'll show all the work on these. So 0 plus pi over 2. So we got 0 plus pi over 2 is equal to pi over 2. And then we half that. So pi over 2 times a half is pi over 4. And so this would be pi over 4. All right. And then I need the midpoint from 0 to pi over 4. 
So I've got 0 plus pi over 4 is pi over 4. And then I have to, ha and then I half the pi over 4. So pi over 4 times a half is equal to pi over 8. And so the midpoint here would be pi over 8. And then I need the midpoint between pi over 2 and pi. So I get pi over, well, let's, it doesn't matter, but let's just do pi over 4 plus pi over 2, which that's equal to what? Pi over 4 plus 2 pi over 4. And so that's going to give me 3 pi over 4. And then I need to half the 3 pi over 4. So 3 pi over 4 times a half would be 3 pi over 8. And so this would be 3 pi over 8. <clears throat> and then if you remember what we talked about, that cotangent is at 1, 0, and then negative 1. So 1, 0, negative 1. But if you notice, that's the 1, 0, and negative 1, that is just this part is 1, 0, and negative 1. But each of those 1, 0, and negative 1's being multiplied by a half. So this would be a half, 0, and then negative 1 half. All right. And so let's put our point. So remember cotangent, it starts out half, 0, negative 1 half. And then we can sketch in, and I know that doesn't look too good, but that's about the best I can draw that on this screen. It's kind of slippery when you're drawing on a tablet. So, all right, so I hope the video helped. Uh, check out the other ones. We'll be shifting them left, right, and then we'll have one where we shift left, right, and up and down. So check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.